it's time for me to get ready to go on my first international solo trip. Where am I going? Why am I going? I'm going to the Dominican Republic because I need a break. I am tired of these kids. I'm tired of this business. I'm tired of my family. I'm tired of my friends. I love them, love them dearly. But sometimes we have to take a break. We have to reset and we have to go and recharge. So what I'm about to do is pack up all of my stuff. I have a color theme that I'm going with. I have a carry-on only bag. I'm not checking a bag. I will be gone from Saturday to Thursday, basically, and I am determined to fit all of my clothes, shoes and all, in one bag. And y'all are gonna pack with me. I'm gonna try my clothes on, I'm gonna put my jewelry on with it, shoes, I'm gonna check and make sure that everything looks how it needs to look. And as long as it's working, Everything should fit inside of this Love Vogue bag that I got from the TikTok shop. It is a TSA approved bag, supposedly. If I get to this airport, y'all, and they don't let me bring this bag up, I know something. But I'm hoping to get all of my clothes in here and all of my content gear in here. And it comes with, comes with a toiletry bag. If it don't fit in here, it's not going. That same TSA approved luggage book bag also came with this mesh bag. I have already put my clothes in here and honestly they fit. And then it also comes with this drawstring shoe bag. So I am intentionally working with a color theme. Everything is green or it has some type of green in it so that I can wear two pair of shoes. That's the plan, okay? My swimming suits are green or green themed. I only have one outfit that is a different shade of green because my birthday is July the 16th and I have this beautiful sage green, not like a tropical or forest green green i may have to put a different shoe on with that but we'll see so get ready with me this is part two of my series of the international solo trip prep part two hold on let me say that again this is part two of my international solo trip prep i don't know how many parts is going to be in this series but yeah, so let's try on some clothes, baby. First outfit is the travel outfit. The t-shirt is fitting. God is within her, so she will not fail. I am covered in the blood, baby, and I speak that as I travel alone. Now, these biker shorts are perfect for travel. They're comfortable with pockets. And these are some cute shoes that I found from DSW. Are these considered Esperaldas? I'm not sure. But the color was cute. They're super comfortable. Perfect alternative for tennis shoes for traveling. All right, outfit number two is going to be paired with these slides from Amazon. And of course, if I didn't mention already, all of my clothes came from Shein. So I love this kimono wrap mumu style dress. I love how breathable it is. I love the print. It's very fitting for vacation. And the earrings also came from Shein. And they are a wood and tassel earring that is super cute. I love a good statement earring. Because I probably won't do any necklaces on vacation. Now outfit number three is also from Shein. This cute navy and green romper is adorable. I have been very intentional to find outfits that were light, breathable, things I know I would be comfortable in, and this hit the mark. This bell sleeve is gonna give me plenty of ventilation, baby, because I know it's gonna be hot. And I love the sash that comes with this romper. It helps to bring in my waist. The earring. Again, she in. Y'all stop sleeping on she in if you are. I love the jewel tone. I love how almost upscale that this earring looks, but we know it wasn't because it came from she in, right? Right. 
and I'm just not noticing that my monastero matches my outfit. Now, again, just pointing out that this is going to be the slide that you are going to see with just about all my outfits. I was very intentional. I was not packing a whole bunch of stuff. I want to be easy, in and out, no check bag. I'm ready to go. Now, I got two swimming suits from Shein to go with my green color theme. So this ruffle detailed two-piece high-waisted swimming suit, cute. And this one piece with this drawstring to make it a high thigh, high cut swimming suit, I thought was super cute. Both of these swimming suits are very comfortable and in my opinion, modest for a plus size woman. Now I don't know if anyone else is in a chokehold on the TikTok shop baby, but I am. So this cover up I seen on the TikTok shop I thought was super cute and it goes with both of my swimming suits. So I like to be cute and comfortable, but sometimes I need a little extra coverage for that thing back there. You see it. But this was super cute, the fringe detail, the high slit, and the tassels are on point. Now this outfit, oh, I feel so pretty in this outfit. I love the layered look. I love this green. I love how flowy it is. It fits really well. It's actually two pieces, so the top is separate from the bottom, but this is a easy outfit. Now, take a moment for these earrings, cause that's fully what I intend to be doing. Enjoying a drink, baby. I am staying at an all-inclusive resort, and at every time that y'all see me on a vlog or online, you will see a drink in my hand. So don't judge. But this outfit is a super cute and fun outfit to take on vacation and just feel great about yourself. Now when I say I'm in the middle of recording and my son knocks on the door and says, Mama, you got a package. So I had ordered, hold on. So we on a, a brief intermission, this is the dress. So I ordered these from Amazon and I was not sure if this sandal was gonna be here on time or not, but they are cute. I said I was not keeping both of these sandals. I may have lied to myself. So because we just got an impromptu delivery, I'm gonna try these on, whoops. I'm going to try these on. Isn't that gold detail so pretty? Okay. All right, back to the try on. Now this dress. Now I know it's not all green, but it has different variations of green and I fell in love the moment that I seen it. It has a high split on the side. I love the off the shoulder detail. The print is beautiful. And again, I'm going to pair it with my wood tassel excuse me, wood and tassel earrings. Look at that. Is it not giving she is a lady that you wanna know? But don't try to get to know me on this vacation because I am not here for that, baby. I am here for rest and relaxation and to feel great about myself and to reset. And this dress is definitely gonna help me do it. Now, baby, when I tell you when I put this dress on, this is my birthday dress. Where am I going? Probably to the same buffet that I already ate at three times by the time I wear this dress. But on my birthday, which is Tuesday, July the 16th, I fully intend on being a showstopper. This earring is giving fantasy fairy tale land. I don't know. But when I seen it, I thought it was adorable and I had to have them. Now, this heel is a clear and nude heel that I intend on wearing with this dress because I would just wanna feel great about myself. It's my birthday, why not? Now y'all, me and these pajamas, we not working out. They're very short and because I'm heavier on the bottom than on the top, the top fits great, but the bottom not so much. Now, ironically, the white fits better than the green, but these pajamas were $8 for a set of three. They came in green, white and it also came in black 
I just wanted a cute pajama set for me to walk down to breakfast or for me to just, you know, lounge around in my room. But I don't know about this. So I went into my drawer and found a lounge set that I already had. This came from Ashley Stewart. It's light and breathable, cute. I would be comfortable in this going to get breakfast and coming back to my room. Okay, guys. So those were all my outfits, swimming suits, and pajamas. Some of them pajamas are questionable, baby, for real. The reality is, am I really going to be sleeping in pajamas? Not really. I just wanted some cute sets of pajamas to go to breakfast in. Because I don't know these people. I'm going to go get my breakfast, go back to my room and chill. So I've got to make some decisions about that, okay? But what I need y'all's help on, I have these four shoes. We have this shoe, which is super comfortable. My intent is for this to be like my tennis shoe. I don't know if y'all can see inside, but that insole is good and supportive. So I could walk in this airport if we did any adventures, whatever. Then I have these two green shoes. Let me put something down. Now, this is cute, but it only has, I don't know if y'all can see, it's like three little buttons. It's just a little snap. Like, that's it. Snap. I don't know. I don't know if I feel like this is going to be secure enough. Now, the shoe is super cute, but this, to me, is more sturdy and durable. Like, I'm afraid that snap. I'm afraid that snap is going to unsnap mid-stride. So, which one do y'all think? more sturdy and durable or cute it's comfortable too but i don't know leave it in the comments shoe a or shoe b so now and the only negative that i have with these shoes is i'm only wearing it with that one dress but listen charge that to the game baby because the way that dress is dressing and the way those earrings are earringing, I need a shoe that's cute. And this is perfect. It's comfortable. It goes perfectly with my dress. So even though this heel, this heel got some good weight to it, I'm going to figure it out, baby, because I feel like these have to go. So those are my shoes, my dresses, my jewelry. I've got a couple of gold earrings that are going to go to, but I did not film those. And everything is going to go inside of this carry-on bag. Everything, all my toiletries are going to go inside of this toiletry bag. And my clothes are going to roll up inside of this mesh bag. And my shoes are going to go in here. Probably all my shoes except for the new shoe. Because that shoe is kind of heavy. So what I'm going to do now is angle my camera so y'all can see how I'm going to fold and roll everything. And I may go ahead and do my toiletries because I'm doing a carry on. So y'all know everything has to be under three ounces, 3.2 to be exact. But I'm just going to I'm going to play it safe. Matter of fact, hold on. So what I did was I got a few of these. They come from Dollar Tree. They are the three-piece travel bottles. Each one of these bottles are 2.7 ounces. 2.7 ounces. So I know that as long as it's in one of these bottles, I'm good to go with TSA. So my face wash, my lotions, my body washes, all of that, I'm going to put it in here. And honestly, even though I am frugal and I hate wasting I'm just gonna take a new bar of soap and probably throw that soap away I'm gonna take a new toothbrush that I also got from the Dollar Tree and throw it away the things that I know don't really have to come back because am I the only one that will not take my home toothbrush out am I the only one do y'all be taking y'all's home toothbrush out of y'all's house in my mind once that toothbrush leaves my bathroom it's no good expire throw it away so i just go ahead and buy a dollar toothbrush with the cover um because i'm not bringing i'm not putting it back in my bathroom i know it does not make sense 
but to me it makes sense does it make sense to y'all so anywho so now i'm going to neatly fold and roll everything so everything can fit in this bag now vacation or not baby the bra and panties are gonna match so i picked out three comfortable bras or three necessary bras and matched them with two or three pair of underwear a piece so that i'd be prepared for anything um, I got a strapless bra, you've seen my brown wireless bra and a black bra, so I have options. Now this mesh bag is where all of my clothes are gonna go. I'm speeding this up for time's sake, but my method of packing and trying to make sure that I don't have to check a bag is to iron everything, fold it neatly and roll it so I don't have wrinkles. It also helps you to save a lot of space. So let's see how many outfits I can roll and pack. now after i packed all of my outfits that y'all saw i just grabbed another pair of biker shorts and a graphic tee just to have another option to travel home in now I got a total of six outfits and two swimming suits and a cover up in this mesh bag. So that will be plenty for me to vacay in and then also travel back home in. And remember, I still have the outfit that I traveled down in if I need a option while I'm there. Now y'all, I pack these heels. Y'all are gonna see me pack these heels. But in full transparency, I took them heels back out. When I picked that bag up, it was so heavy, and I know those heels add two, three pounds, and I just did not see the point. So I took them out later on, but I put my green slides in, I put my swimming shoes, so when I'm on the beach, I don't have to worry about the sand. I packed those in, I ordered those from Amazon, so they were still vacuum sealed, which was perfect for packing. Now let's pack some toiletries. My favorite perfume is V.S. Bell by Lancome. And I will smell good on vacation. So I got these miniature perfume bottles that allow you to transfer from your big bottle to a small bottle so it is travel size and it is lighter and more easier to pack. Love that. These are the bottles that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna take my favorite body wash from Bath and Body Works and fill that up. This is the Coco Shea Moisture Body Wash. It smells so good and it feels so good on your skin. This is the matching oil. I'm almost out of it so I'm really just gonna transfer the entire portion into this spray bottle to make it easier to apply and also to make sure that TSA ain't tripping because I need this oil. It's gonna have me glistening, baby. That spray nozzle is gonna be so convenient on vacation. So now that I have my body wash and my oil ready to go, let me get my skincare together. So I'm gonna transfer some cream to foam cleanser into this bottle. And don't get me wrong, I know this bottle is about empty, but that'll be enough for me to make it through vacation. And I'm gonna take my daily moisturizer with SPF in it as well. So I have my perfume, I added my deodorant. I'm going to put a bar of soap in this canister. Of course, a toothbrush with the travel cap. And I know this is in a toiletry item, but I got me a sleep mask with some earplugs so I can sleep on the plane. And this exfoliating mitt is gonna be great with my body wash just to make sure my skin is on point. 
and that is one of my favorite toothpaste now this is the only soap that I will allow to go on to my kitty meow meow I got to make sure I take care of my lady case and Dove helps me to do that Now I love how this bag is waterproof so if something does leak it should stay in that bag I made sure to grab me a little thing of Vaseline to get them heels and make sure them elbows are on point, especially being that I'm wearing sandals and my arms are out. Now, here's where all of my underwear, bras are, and I threw an extra swimming suit in there as well. Now, those are the shoes, but remember, I ended up taking the heels out just to lighten the bag. I could not fit that lounge outfit into my mesh bag, so we're just gonna stick it right in here. Put my beach shoes in the bottom of the bag and make sure that my mesh bag with my seven outfits, two swimming suits, and my cover up goes in. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I got to looking and I'm like, wait a minute. I don't think this stuff is gonna fit. But then I put my three pair of PJs in my toiletry bag and I also added my jewelry into that bag as well. So I, I'm fighting with it. I'm fighting with it and I am worried because in my mind, if I can't get this bag zipped up, if this bag doesn't close, what am I going to do? I love that this bag comes with a regular, regular luggage strap because it, it does help it to hold it in. Y'all, I'm like, this zipper is not gonna close. It's not gonna close. I am forcing, I am pushing, but I won't tear my bag up. And then it zipped. I was so excited when that zipper went all the way around. Okay, crisis averted. I am done. Okay, y'all, that bag is packed. All of my clothes are in here. My shoes, my toiletry, swimsuits, my pajamas. The only thing I need to do Friday is in this back zipper part is put in my laptop, my tripod, and I'm real funny about my camera. So most likely I'll put my camera in here um, and wear it on my uh, as a fanny pack. We'll see how much more room I have. Cause it's packed pretty good but i know that this will fit in an overhead bin and it might fit underneath the seat but for sure in an overhead bin when i say the bag is gonna be heavy but i'm in there i'm packed all that matters is that i do not have to check a bag that's all that i'm worried about because i do not want to have to check a bag so part two is complete i am technically packed and ready to go on this end so the next time that y'all see me on this series is when it's time for me to get on my flight and i'm going to do the best i can to take you guys through tsa well y'all know they ain't gonna let me actually record in tsa but you get what i'm saying you're gonna go into the airport with me we are gonna go through these layovers i do have a layover flying down and flying back they're only like an hour and some change y'all are going to go with me when i check in when i'm on my shuttle to get to the hotel i'm taking y'all with me i am excited i am ready for this trip and i'm ready to take y'all with me because i'm sure the dominican is going to be beautiful so thank y'all for watching i love you guys hi guys bye guys y'all have a good day